But what have you seen from your, your guys so far in spring? Man, I've seen some really good things. Uh, you know, Jafar, I came in, he's given us that that older level guy uh, talent. You know, he's coming in. The guy's played a lot, of, a lot of football in his career. And then Isaiah Smith and Cam Robertson are, are stepping their game up as well. You know, I've been with them now for really three years and seeing them develop and uh, getting better the technique, uh, all the pass rush intricacies that we have. Um, I'm seeing a lot of good things from them. What does Jafar I bring uh, to the table for, for this group? So he's uh, obviously a mature guy. You know, he's an older guy. You know, he came in kind of, you know, knowing what he wanted to do. And, uh, you know, we felt the same as well. Um, he, you know, he's a bigger body, so he can stop the run, but he still gives you that, that pass rush um, ability, you know, that he had, you know, coming from Miami. So, um, you know, he gives us that. And you've got Cam and Isaiah behind him, you know, who are also going to be juniors. So you really got a, kind of a three-headed monster that we're really excited about. And with Isaiah, uh, he had a big end of the season, you know, that Tulane game. What what have you seen and wanted out of him when it comes to just his development? Really just building off of that, you know, going into that game. Uh, you know, he didn't start the game, but he came in and made a huge impact, um, pass rush. His deal is that we've been trying to get him to play, you know, run and pass, you know, equally um, good like he has been doing. Um, but I've seen Isaiah step his game up. Uh, really, everybody in that group uh, from the spring has done a really good job. Yeah, Cam came in with some high expectations after what he did at UNT. And what did you see from him last season? And now that he's you know, kind of settled in, is he more comfortable in, in everything now? He is. He is. Uh, Cam, you know, my biggest deal with Cam was, you know, getting better at playing the run. Uh, but Cam's a really smart football player, uh, does everything I asked him to do. You know, Cam's a guy that we can slide over to the field and put him at end, or he can stay to the boundary. So he kind of gives you that versatility on where he's at on the field. With this defensive line that you guys have, a lot of different pieces, some big bodies. You've got Elijah that moves around. How much fun is it toying with, with that group and kind of working with Coach Tibbs trying to figure that out? It's awesome. Sense? It's awesome. Like our third down package that we, you know, that we have implemented some this spring to where you can get maybe three of my guys on the field, uh, getting the speed on the field. Uh, you know, me and Coach Tibbs work well together. You know, he's done it a long time at a high level, so I'm still learning from him as well. Um, but, you know, having those – those chess pieces you can kind of move around has been really, really fun. Now that you've been on the recruiting trail a bit uh, as, you know, the you know, full assistant, uh, what's that been like and what's the response you've seen from, from coaches as, and players, you know, as you guys move into the ACC too? It's been good. You know, obviously moving to the ACC, um, you know, obviously helps us in recruiting. Um, you know, I hadn't been actually on the field since about 2018, uh, Washington State Baptist, so I'm so excited to be out in the schools, seeing the best head coaches in, you know, in Texas, uh, getting to see them that I hadn't seen in a while, um, getting that recruiting area and really, you know, trying to dominate the, the ACC recruiting. When, when you look at guys that you are trying to recruit, what are some of the key factors that you look for in, in these edges? Well, we look for obviously a guy that can rush the passer and then uh, length, you know, we're going to guy that can get off the edge, you know, push that offensive lineman vertically and, you know, get him in a tough spot to where we get him off the edge or we hit him underneath, uh, but we look for, uh, ball get off, length, and then speed. And with last year's group, obviously you guys had to replace some key guys up front, but what were some of the things that you guys identified that you, you said, okay, we still want to improve in this area or that area? Well, for us, you know, in, obviously in my room, uh, we had to replace Nelson Paul. We felt like we did that with Jafari. And then really it was just getting our guys better, you know, getting their, their techniques, um, their efforts always there. Our guys play very, very hard. Uh, but just getting our guys better is kind of what we focused on and then, you know, filling in those key factors in recruiting that we needed to do.